Hey guys. guys, we are Chris and Sam. And together we are the Travel Duo. And this is Fletcher. We are travelling around Europe in our home on wheels and we've spent the past three weeks in France. This week we are going to take you from the west coast over to the French Alps. From glacial lakes to park ups right next to Mont Blanc, we have absolutely fallen in love with this part of France and you're about to find out why. So we have made it down to an absolutely beautiful park up. We are in the middle of southern France, no idea what it's called. We're going to chill out here for a couple of days, keep moving up towards Switzerland and then yeah, see where the road takes us. We didn't quite realise how long our journey would be to get to the Alps, so we decided to break up our journey as we headed east. After a busy couple of weeks exploring the cities, we were so grateful for a few days of relaxing on some beautiful lakes and enjoying the gorgeous weather. One thing I am gutted about, and I've definitely learnt my lesson on, is not bringing a paddleboard. I we, did say bring it. You did. We are at such a nice park up. To blow the paddle water up, we could have been out on it most of the day. Fletcher would have loved it. Yeah, a little bit gutted to say the least. But, I might just buy another one. <laughs> and then we got one each. So, yep, there is a silver lining somewhere. Yeah. Just have to find somewhere that sells it. the same lunch that we have every day whilst being here in France. It's just so hot out there. So we just want salads and cold food. We've barely done any cooking. So Chris is just putting together some of our favourite salad bowls. She says putting together. These are Buddha bowls, sand buys from Aldi, and they are absolutely wicked. They are dirt cheap. So we just have some of them. They've got falafel in, some um, couscous, chickpeas, things like that. With the heat increasing, we always looked for another lake to stop at so that we could all enjoy a good swim and somewhere to keep Fletcher cool. This is so nice. You're making it look cold. It's not cold. It's not like cold. I'm just worrying about falling over because then I will be cold. Come on, then. Do you want the daddy, then? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for? <laughs> Fletcher, don't want that. Oh, baby. Are, you, are you helping to empty the lake, Fletch? That's it, good boy. <laughs> good. Yeah. I did all look. Up to your shoulders? Yeah, go. Nice. One, two. <laughs> what well, if you're there, babe? I have a passion fruit mojito. Nice one. Extra virgin. Extra virgin? Mm. Nice. How's it taste? How cold in this heat, I would be on the floor. <laughs> where we're going at the moment we're literally just making our way over to switzerland if we see a nice looking town we stop and explore and we just come across this random place here i don't know if you can see but there's a castle up on that mountain there's also like some sort of statue with a guy holding a baby up there right next to it 
It's giving me like proper Rio vibes. Could think we're in South America right now. We've been here over a week and I'm yet to go in a supermarket. So I'm in my first Super U. Sorry. At the moment. And I'm looking for after sun and a couple of drinks because we're having a walk around La Pie. Let's go for that one. Success! I managed to shop it all. <laughs> I got you some treats, mate. We have just come into a decathlon. We are actually coming in here to find a paddleboard. Um, but because we have come with a lack of summer clothes, Sam's just getting a couple of pairs of shorts, uh, maybe a sports bra and things like that. But yeah, we are on the hunt for a paddleboard. Do you know what's amazing? Fletcher's allowed him to. Oh, so, you got? It wasn't quite a paddleboard, but we got the next best thing. We got a surfboard, a uh, skateboard. I got some shoes, a couple of vests. And Sam did get loads as well, don't worry. <laughs> Sam got loads as well. You've always wanted a skateboard, haven't you? I've for ages. So we saw one and... So I'm just going to scoot around the car park now for the next hour. Come on then, you're going to ride over to the bus on that one. Absolutely not on the flip -flop. No. So I did get quite a bit. I came over to Europe with just a swimming costume because I thought, I want to go into the lakes and I thought they'd be really cold. Never did I think that it was going to be like summer. I mean, I know so many of you will be thinking like, Sam, it's summer in Europe, it's hot. So I've just brought two bikinis and because I feel like I'm going to be living in them. I've also brought some more shorts. I basically didn't bring barely any summer stuff. And I know, especially Chris's mum is gonna be watching me like, I said, you said you were never gonna buy any clothes again because we left so much behind, but I didn't bring enough summer stuff with me. But now we're kitted out. We're kitted out and we can go and enjoy the rest of Europe with our summer gear and Chris's new skateboard. So that's just gonna be able to pull me along. I'm not gonna have to do any, any like pushing or anything. Don't know how you get this one. didn't buy a helmet. Should I be worried? Oh, we can see Mont Blanc up there. What a beautiful spot. This is taking my breath away. A little bit emotional. We had finally made it to the French Alps. Our first park up was by a beautiful lake which was overlooked by Mont Blanc. There was something special about being surrounded by the mountains which just felt like home. Good morning from Mont Blanc. This is what I dreamed of when we were at home. When we were at home saying we're gonna travel Europe, this is it, feeling in this moment. So blessed, so grateful right now. So, so grateful. So I have been for a swim and a run this morning and it was that glorious, I did not want Sam to miss out on the opportunity. <laughs> so I've gone back and dragged her out of bed. It's now quarter past seven and Going in for a swim, didn't we? Yeah, I would have got with him this morning, but I thought they were going for like a three, four mile run, and I was like, no, I'll just slow them down. So I stayed in bed, <laughs> and as soon as they come back and I seen how incredible that blue sky looked, I was like, come on then, let's, let's go. Let's do it. And Mont Blanc at the moment has got no cloud cover on whatsoever, so oh it looks absolutely stunning. The sun has just come up over the lake now, and I just know what Sam's in for. This is going to be so, so amazing. It's no, it's not actually that cold. It looks freezing. Like glacier water, you imagine to be absolutely freezing, but yeah, no, it's not actually that cold at all. So I'm buzzing for you. You're going to love it. Guys, I'm not quite sure how cold this is. He said that it's lush, but I have a feeling he's lying to me. Oh, it's lush. Right, it's in. It's in. Come on, fuck you. See you in a minute. <laughs> Oh, 
boy. Come on, man. And he's coming. Come on, Come on <laughs> man. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. How was your experience, babe? I loved it. Yeah? It wasn't cold at all. I stubbed my foot the first time <laughs> because I oh, went to run a request and I hesitated and he just dragged me in. Dragged so you in. You just got to get in. Foot just kicked the end of the like jetty. Um, but no, what an amazing way to start the day. Fletcher came in and joined us. We've all been for a nice morning swim. It was absolutely stunning. Just what the doctor ordered after our lush swim, mushroom, spinach, wedges, hash browns and beans. We didn't have many hash browns, so wedges it was. What a way to start the day after a morning swim in front of Mont Blanc. Thank you, gorgeous. Phone. It's got you almost lost your phone. It's got all our bank cards in. How long has it been over there? While travelling. About two hours. Literally on the park bench over there. Where we were sat taking it in. I was like, I'm not looking at my phone anymore, so I put it on the <coughs> bench. Obviously I got up, you decided to skateboard <coughs> down the road. Oh man. <coughs> French people are good. No <laughs> nicking, no nicky nicky. <laughs> from San Gervais we have got our fresh bread literally there is a bakery about 100 yards that way so me and Fletch went for a walk this morning on the way back we called in and got a fresh baguette just stuck it in the oven just to make it that extra warm me I have a little bit of butter on it and then that's breakfast for me I don't need any more Sam doesn't even have butter Sam absolutely loves hers just the way it is can you see how much energy he has this morning? I've only just got up. It's quarter past nine. We had quite a late night last night getting our YouTube out for last week. I feel like options half seven. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I think it's the hay fever out here, you know. I honestly do. But he's been out, he's got bread, he's made me a cup of tea, and now I'm gonna enjoy it. Please don't ever change. Oh. <laughs> we are just off to explore saint Gervais in France. I was trying to think where we are there. I thought, are we France or Switzerland? Because we're just kind of right on the border now. This is amazing, this park up. It is free and they've got electric, they've got water. Toilet waste. Toilet. Our um, wastewater, dirty water waste. They've literally got it all here. Yeah. And it's, and it's a free park up. Literally like a two minute walk into the centre. So we're going to go and explore now what San Gervais is all about. It looks absolutely stunning from just driving through it. Um, so we can't wait to show you what it looks like. I just went into the pharmacy to stock up on my hay fever tablets and the lady said be careful make you sleepy that's why I can't get up in the morning it's not because I'm lazy it's, it's these bad boys so one thing I said about France not really being very vegan friendly means that we get to create all of our own incredible lunches. Making our own butter bowls. There is nothing better than filling it with what you like. Bit of salad, beans, and loads of different couscouses, carrot. We've loved this and we've, we've lived on it. We've got some gherkins and tomato here. Oh, oh that's it. Um, but yeah, 
It means that we're eating so much better than we ever have before. Oh, 100%. And we're saving money because we're not eating out at all these incredible French restaurants that look amazing, but they don't do vegan stuff. actually here in Chamonix in mid-season so we're in the last week of May everything seems to open at the first of June so at the moment we are parked right underneath the um, gondola and all that up to one of the peaks and they have just turned it all on so they must be testing it and it's pretty cool to watch actually you better see the gondolas going up another thing about this place is it's very hilly. Some of the hills we have to walk up to to get to our park up is just, they're literally just so steep because we're climbing up the mountain. So we're definitely gonna be fit sticking around here for a few days, that's for sure. It's not even out of breath. You're not even out of breath. <laughs> He's not even out of breath. Me sweating? A little bit. I've got a good for me. Look at the view. Can't even turn my hands. It's shaking. Somewhere down there at the bottom of that cable is where we've parked. Look at those mountains. just got a little bit more serious. I now have some walking sticks. <laughs> Hiking sticks. <laughs> I've got some walking sticks. <laughs> physically fit guys leading the way and I'm absolutely chin strapped sweat dripping all over me look at the kind of things we're doing right now so we have just climbed so far up and we got to a nice cafe but it was shut unfortunately so we stopped Sam's took our shoes off couple of blisters on the way so not good so what have you learnt now what have you don't learned? do hiking no you've learned that you have to wear your shoes in so sam's got to learn to uh, wear her shoes in a bit but it says we're 45 minutes from the train station now so there's going to be a little red train that's going to take us all the way back down so we don't have to walk lucky we've got david with us Hi. he's been absolutely giving us loads of tips <laughs> and everything that First tip, we didn't bring enough food. I literally brought an apple. Um, <laughs> Having brought warm enough clothes. Warm enough clothes, another one. And we look apart though, because we got our sticks, but that's about it. Climbing a mountain. Right now. <laughs> you're making it look hard because you got your stick. <laughs> Give me a stick. It's a ladder, babe. <laughs> it's a ladder. Legs like me. Shaky Jake. Made it to the top of the mountain. Well, we're not kind of like the top of the top. Of the we're mountain. not the top of the mountain, but we made it made it to the top so we can get the train down now. We are at 1,913 meters above sea level. Um, it took us two hours and 45 minutes with a stop at a cafe. Well, the cafe was shut. The cafe was shut. But we stopped and um, took our shoes off and things like that. Yeah. But yeah, it was an amazing, really, really good climb. And there's a glacier up there. What did you think, Fletch? 
You were such a good boy. You walked up that mountain with us, didn't you? You've been a good boy. What did you think? What did so you when, think? When yeah. What's the matter? Are we gonna get the train back down? Should we get the train back down? Come on then. Shall we? Let's get the train back down because these bad boys have blisters all over them. And it's a long way back. So guys, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. We have absolutely loved traveling across France towards the Alps. And I survived my first hike. Smashed it. Can't believe it. That was not easy, but Two it was hours, 45 minutes. That's a lot of walking. Absolutely incredible. And that's it for our French trip in our camper van. We have absolutely loved this country. We are now in a new country. A brand new country. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. We cannot wait to take you around Europe with us. And thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.